get declining numbers every single time. And you know that. Um no, I I don't think I would, but I'm I'm what I'm more concerned about now is your position personally because at the moment what I'm getting is that you don't know what to do. Not with me into your throw or anything, but in the afro out because I can see the problems. I'm starting to address them and I hope you'll stick around for those changes and I hope that you can trust me but I don't think you will be able to trust me and it's a big shame that you can't that I won't do anything stupid because after all this that has happened why would I want to do that again because this is this is way too much for me even so I don't know what your response will be to that. Well, as a mate, I want you to be able to carry on. I do. But it's gone past that now. But from the league's perspective, it's different. I hope like, it this has is to... bigger. Uh, yeah, than I don't me, want it to go past James. it. I don't want it to go past that though, because I've. I'm tr what I'm trying to say is, okay, two bad instances, yeah, that really does weigh my argument down a lot, significantly. Hang on, hang on, we've given you more chances than Becker. Becker, GT Sport, remember, Dragon Trail Gardens, he pu purposely took out people, three occasions, his driving was horrendous, and he got booted straight away. That's what we should have done yeah. with you in Brazil. Right, and you did give me a ban for that. Okay, yes, it wasn't. And I did give you, and I did give you a ban for that, and you served it, which I'm appreciative about. Right, and the thing, the the difference is, his was during the race, and that was multiple people. For me, it was that one guy. Wasn't even during the race. Wasn't even during an important session at the time, which I thought it wasn't, but apparently it was qualifying, which I wasn't even informed about. And I well, think... we need to make that clearer then, and we will learn from that. There's a mistake that I've made. We'll make a, we'll make changes. Simple. If That's that was qualifying, if that was qualifying, I would never have done that, because after Brazil, okay, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. But me thinking, okay, it was just getting ready for the event during practice. You know, that to me made the difference. One thing that annoys me about this though is at the time you don't then you don't then say, Do you know what guys? You're absolutely right. I explained to my point. I didn't think it was I didn't think it was qualifying. If it was I'd never do that and I'm really sorry it could I have another chance. I I appreciate what you're doing. You don't say anything like that. You just argue the point constantly. You say, No, I didn't know it was qualifying so I shouldn't have even got a penalty. I shouldn't even be kicked out. Oh my god and then you just make it more and more of a pain for yourself. Okay, well that was my fault there. And I'll have to apologise about the way I acted, but that was at the heat of, in the heat of the moment, and that's that's what happens really. And of course, there was a video in response to that in Fortnite 57, and that's my initial thought after what happened. And of course, after a couple of days after this has happened, and I'm speaking to you right now, and this is what I have to say about it. And I'm trying to tell you that I won't do it again. Yesterday was ridiculous as well because I was kicked from the party, kicked from the lobby. Hey, in terms of FRL, right? I'm not racing tonight because I just I, I really don't want to be a part of it right now. If you can prove to me that can do better than I'll probably carry on. You shouldn't have to do this.
because... Yeah, you're right, I shouldn't have to do this, but this is what we've been driven to. And this isn't a case of TFRL or anything like that, this is my own personal thing. And... But you, you shouldn't, because this... Uh, I don't understand, really. I mean, I've, I've, I've tried to say everything I have. And I hope I've done a good enough effort in trying to apologise. And trying to state to you that things will get better, and this is actually the the first time in a couple of weeks that people have had concerns about uh, concerns about the FRL. And I'm thankful that you're actually re you know telling me this. And I I hope it's enough for you to race tonight because that would just be a huge shame for everyone. For everything you've built up in 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 that league in in this season, and it shouldn't have to end like this, and I don't want it to end like this. Right. Well. I'm going to leave the TFRL thing up to James because I don't want to be a part of that anymore. Okay, well, yep. Yeah. Let's put the TFRL thing to the side at the at the moment because we can sort that out later. And I don't even want to talk about that anymore. But it's what I don't want this? to be a part of that decision is because I've not been there at the times when the thing he's, happened. He's came in the ship Exactly. So right. yes, okay, I, I understand. This is something that. you should learn from Ball Boy, right? You need to know when you can't just make rash, uh, brash decisions, such as me right now. I'm just I'm pulling myself out of it because I know I can't look at it and make the right decision because I don't I don't know fully what's going on. Right. Right. Yeah. And you, all I'm going to say is, right, honestly, as a mate, I would love it if you were back in TFRL, but at the same time, I'd completely understand if James said, no, you're out. Okay. That's all I'm going to say on it. Right, okay. Because yeah. some of the shit you've been doing has been ridiculous. Right. I can see the negatives outweigh the positives, and, and that's a real shame, but that happens with everything. And in any situation, so... So yeah, you can put TFRL and that thing to the side. I'm gone. Okay. And I can understand why you wouldn't want to race tonight in the FRL. And it's a shame that I'm trying to explain to you my thoughts. Especially at this time. And my attempt to repair this. And it would be a shame if you don't race tonight because of this. Because you're here. Because, first of all, you said that you wouldn't be racing but then you said you would so for you to be online at this moment that's a good thing and to not race would be that, that wouldn't be great thing is, <clears throat> if I was to continue doing that, I need to know that you don't actually take it seriously. I can guarantee you that right now. Although I can't really prove no, anything. When I say take here. it seriously, I mean like 
people like Game and Mika get rid of them straight away instead of giving them stupid amounts of opportunities to make themselves just look even more stupid. Yeah. And he's he's Jack gone now. Like that. He's yeah, gone I know now. He's gone and, now. Yeah. And Jacko well, as well. People. Yeah. Okay, other people, right? At the so end of the day, you said you said wait, hang on. How many other people are you talking about? So him, Game and Mika, Jacko. Yeah, I'm, no, no, he wants no, to speak to me. no. No, I just mean like if other people join or if some other ha it happens with other people. Right. Same thing. And there's an inconsistency with your decisions. For example, Montana in Hungary, when he swiped at Billy and took Billy off. Yes, he disqualified himself after the race. Well, that should be something that the management themselves should have taken under consideration and done that themselves. Right. And we will address the, the issues with that. And when I say we, actually, I mean I, because at the moment it's just me. And that's also a huge issue, actually. That is just me doing everything. And for future Game Amica Part 2, if someone like that were to come, then yes, of course, I'd have to speak to them and give them a race ban and if they do it again, then they'd be gone forever and that's the approach I'll be taking from now on. Because I know I've been given, giving people a lot of chances. And that, that's just me being too kind, and I can't be too kind anymore. So, I mean, if you see something like this happen again, then yeah, of course, you have every right to leave, but I'm, I'm trying to prove you I wrong. I just, uh, I don't see what's in it for me. Because I'm just not enjoying it anymore. And I can't, to be honest, I can't quite put my finger on why. It just feels like this just one thing that needs changing that's just making everything else go wrong as well. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel right. It'd be great to know what that thing was because then everything would be okay. And I'm going to try and fix whatever this thing is. That's ruining every other little thing. But what I'm seeing now in the FRO is that, okay, we've we've had... I think I know what it is. If your answer is me... No, then... it's oh. not. It is regarding you, in a way. But it is... The approach you take to getting drivers into the league. That is a big problem. That is, that, that I think is the fundamental problem, personally. Driver, drivers, yeah, I agree. If they're quick and clean, they should be coming from open lobbies. But other than that, they should be coming through friends, they should be coming through other leagues, you name it. Like that. That's where I think it's gone wrong. It's like with F3, you literally just picked 20, or at least it seems like you just picked 20 random drivers and just said to them, go on, have a league race. Like, I don't know to what, at what extent that's true or not, but that's just what it feels like. If you really want to be serious about your league, then you just you've just got to put more time into it. Like personally, I, I would be willing to help in things like that. Well, Are you guys still going on about this? Oh it's my just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and I think one of the issues is 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 just me really. I mean, yes, I'm very grateful for the commentary that you do, you guys do. 
But all the other tasks, it's it's just me, and that is a problem I need to address. Because if I get that sorted, if I if I can get other people to do things, then it it will run a lot more, you know, smoother. And it'll be a lot uh, easier. By to the way, things. just to put in on this, Bolsman has requested that the rest could be put back 15 minutes for his own behalf. He's just messaged me this like literally now. So Yeah, yeah, well there's no other leagues going <laughs> on today, so I think that'll be okay. Um uh, right. Yeah, I yeah. I'll def I'm actually starting to try and work and ask people or you know, who want roles or you know, cuz that's the first thing I've got to do. And with right. with that change, with that small change, that will have big consequences in making everything a lot better. That's where there needs to be a structure, there needs to be a team. Running things from the front, like we are doing currently. I'm not saying follow our model or anything, but... If you get an admin team together, and you communicate with them, that'll go a long way to actually levelling out all the insecurities and all the collisions and stewarding and all of that. That'll yeah. level out. Yeah. And that was something that I started That's why I think FOL's gone wrong for a while. And that is well, something that I'll start Whatever to, it yeah. may be, or if it's on F1 2018 or whatever, you need to sort driver balancing out. Yeah. Because in F2, there's two, maybe three drivers on a good day that can go for a win. <clears throat> That's it. I, I, I could even say more than that. I could say five, six easily. When they attend, five, six easily. Yeah. And I, th I think the problem with that this season was because Montana couldn't do F1. Okay, and this was back in what a couple, two or th how many months ago it was, and that was because of TFL, and so mm -hmm. you put him in F two, and you were so quick. Well, which no I one agree. Else, I no agree. One that else, was my fault. Yeah, and no one else could catch him. So, and then you wanted to join, and you were the same pace as him. So, we put you in F two. Then we have that problem. Yeah. Because you you couldn't do Fridays, I think, because you were in the A League or whatever. And so, okay, we have a situation where there's a huge difference in the pace of two two guys versus the rest of the field. Uh, but at least we have competition with those two drivers, you, yourself and Montana. For next season, what I do is, yes, of course I put you in the highest tier. I put all the good guys, all extend, the fastest guys. Extend it across all three tiers and make sure you get the balance right. Yeah, That's it, all you need to do. And it'll it, be per yeah. I'll, I won't say it'll be perfect, but it'll go a long way to leveling out things and making things better. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do. Because there's been a lot of things that have been going on that have meant that people are in the wrong tiers. Which I own up. That was my some fault. Some of them, yes. Some I of them, yeah. I would publicly own up and that was, say, that was my fault. Right, well... <clears throat> the next time you need to... When putting drivers in leagues and things, you need to test them out first. So yeah, quickly, of course, yeah. yeah. And with a, a team of people, that will be a lot easier to... go ahead with. And I hope you can stay around to see these these changes, because they'll be happening very soon. The thing is, it feels like too little too late. You know, Look, there's three weeks left in the season in F2. That's what we've got to right. think. Right, I will stay can around you, just because I want changes. it to work. I do. Yeah. But it, it's just kind of like, this is something that you should have realised beforehand. Not something that we should have had to tell you. The, the, this is something that should have been done the week after I left. I think. Yeah. And, and yeah. I could admit I could have managed things better. I will ab admit that I could have managed things better. And with your sudden 
departure. I my number one priority really was to try and get people because at the moment at that current moment we only had about two or three people. Ah, so right. I had I had to try and, and build it from the ground up again. And in doing so, in trying to find people and spending all my time on that, unfortunately I neglected trying to get an admin team together and stuff like that and that has also contributed in all this. What we should look ahead to in the short term is planning an F2 champion, which will probably happen tonight. Not saying Bastard. that Oxide, he might, Oxide might win both races, and not, Montana might not finish both races. That's what you got to think. Unpredictable. But short term, we need to focus on finishing off this season, whether there's another season run is up to you. Yeah, I'll I'm yeah I'll, I'll see how many um how many weeks we have left until 2018, and see what the drivers think. I think from this week uh, there is eight, so two months basically. Three weeks of uh, there won't be enough there won't be enough time to run a full standard league. Alright, I'll, I'll see you. Unless yeah. uh, you uh, use that time to have a kind of like a championship that doesn't have all the races and just use it as like a, he, a trial he should time. Use, he should use that time to put together plans for F1 2018. I'm not no. saying steal our model or anything like that. I'm not. Have a look at how other leagues operate. Not TFL, like other external leagues. See how they operate. See what sort of structure they're running. See what sort of drivers they're in, they're getting, and then work from that. Yeah. Because that's what I'm going to be doing personally. Yeah, that that's a great plan. And uh, well, I'm actually going after F2 today. I'm going to start working. Because before you have before to take this, this seriously though. Before this conversation, and I have to admit this, but people seemed okay with things, and probably those people, most people, they enjoy racing, and when there's an incident, yeah, they'll probably say, okay, you know, he might have pushed me off a little bit, but, you know, I'll just move on to the next one, the, the next event. And they probably see everything okay, but when you're being critical towards the FRL, that's a great thing for me because now I can try and improve. And I'm very, very thankful that you're. I'm, saying I'm all being this. critical because I will publicly say this now. I don't sit like seeing leads fail. Yeah. And in terms of numbers and how many people are racing in that. Everything's fine, but the actual structure and everything that needs improving. Yeah. Ooh, I don't mean to be a dick either, but like you're gonna have to get rid of a lot of drivers because most of the drivers in F2 and maybe even some in F1 are gonna have to go down to F3. Yeah. Yeah. That, there is that unbalanced. Drivers. Yeah, and I'll they'll hopefully I'll try my very best and sort things out where we won't ever have to face that situation again of imbalance. I think my dinner's ready. So we've got 15 minutes oh, oh. until the lobby's set up. After F2, I'm going to talk with people because yeah, I'm... Right. Yeah, because I know. I'll, I'll be back in ten minutes. I know one or two people who are interested. I'm going to talk to them, and I'm going to start getting people together, so it's not just me doing everything. Wait, that was four minutes out there in F4L. Three. So if I join this F1 creation, I'll be three, right? Um, not necessarily. I'm not your speed. Or if I joined, uh, if I've got F1 2017 again, 
Oh, that rope, where would that be? Next to you or what? Depends on your speed. Yeah. Um, it's not something you have to work up, it's just where your speed is, that's what you're going to put in. I don't want to. I just. I don't want to sound like an asshole. But it's just like it gets to a point where it's just a bit ridiculous. I can't tell you if I'm on this again. Yeah, and I am going to repair. Everything. Good head on. And I and I will. And in fact, hopefully I won't be saying I for much longer. And hopefully it'll be we, as in other people. Because this just doing it by myself is a big reason as well why things are not going well. Like I said, the CFRL thing is out of my control. 